Now welcome to this tutorial on the vector equation of a line. And the best place to start is to look at lines in two dimensions. Now suppose you knew a particular point on this line. Let's suppose it was this point. For this example I'm going to call this point A. It has coordinates negative 2, 3 and therefore its position vector from O to A, if I make that O, would be minus 2, 3. And it can be written as a column vector. Now if I take any vector that's parallel to this line, it could be anything. I've chosen this vector here, 2, negative 1. You can see that it's parallel to the line because I can move it around and it will fall on this line. Now if I bring it to the point A, what I'm going to show you is that I can go from the origin to any point on this line by using a combination of this vector, O to A, minus 2, 3, and by travelling any amount of this vector, this direction vector, to negative 1. Let me show you. Suppose, for instance, that I wanted to go to this point. Let's give it a position vector, say, R1. Now I can get to this point by going from O to A, followed by a couple of these vectors 2, negative 1. If I go from O to A and do one lot of 2, negative 1, I'd end up here. And if I do O to A followed by two of these vectors, there's 1 and there's 2, I end up at this point here. And to prove mathematically that that's the case, I can write this out as R1 equals O to A, which is minus 2, 3, followed by, and in vectors that's plus, two lots of this vector 2, negative 1. And in the usual way, if I work this out by vectors, minus 2 plus two twos, which are 4, 4 and minus 2 is 2, and then 3 plus 2 lots of negative 1, that's minus 2, so 3 and minus 2 makes 1. And the position vector of R1 is 2 along, 1 up. This point here has coordinates 2, 1. It works for any point, as I say. Look, we'll take this point, for instance. That would be the position vector let's say R2. What would R2 be? R2 would be to go from O to A and then travel along this line in the direction to negative 1. But how many times would we need to travel along the line using the vector to negative 1? Let's have a look. If I take hold of the to negative 1, put it back to A, I can go from O to A and then 1 lot of 2 minus 1, 2 lots, 3 lots, and finally 4 lots. And we can represent this then as a sum. And that sum I've done up here. You can see R2 equals minus 2, 3 plus 4 lots of 2, negative 1. And if you work this out, we get 6, negative 1. And you'll see R2 is 6 units across, 1 down. And it makes this point the point 6, negative 1, with position vector 6, negative 1. We can have other points on the other side of A. For instance, suppose I had this point here with position vector, let's say, R3. To get to this point, how do I go via the point A? Well, 
Let's take the direction vector again. We'll bring it back to A. So to get to this point, I've got to go up here and then one unit in this direction. Or as we would say, minus one lot of the vector to negative one. And I've done that again in another calculation. Here it is. R3 equals minus 2, 3 up here and then minus 1 lot of 2, negative 1. And if you work this out, you get minus 4, 4. And indeed, R3 is minus 4, 4. This point here has coordinates, minus 4, 4. Now in general, I could find the position vector then of any point on this line. And if I denoted that by the letter R, okay, then I found that I have to go to a particular point on the line, which I called A in this example, and it had a vector, a position vector of minus 2, 3. But let's just suppose in general it was the vector A. Then I travelled any amount in the direction of a vector that was parallel to the line. And I can denote that by any amount as being a value lambda and in the direction of the vector which I'm going to call B. And this is generally referred to as the vector equation of a line. Now in this example, I've been using the vector 2, negative 1 as a vector that was parallel to the line. But I don't have to. Any vector, any direction, as long as it's parallel to the line, will be able to get me to any point on the line. And I'll show you. For instance, I could have used this vector, minus 4, 2. It's parallel to the line. It's going in the opposite direction to the last vector, and it's longer. But that doesn't matter. Look, I'll show you. I can bring this vector into A, for instance, and suppose I wanted to get to R1. I could go up here and do minus 1, lot of minus 4, 2. It would take me to 2, 1. I could go to R2 by going from O to A and then minus two lots of this vector. I could get to this point by simply going from O to A and then just simply adding half of this vector minus 4, 2. So what we have then again is that any point on a line can be represented as having position vector r as long as we go to a known fixed point on the line which is a and then we travel followed by the plus any amount in the direction of a vector which I've called b which is parallel to the line. And I can apply this formula not only in two dimensions but it works just as well in three dimensions. And some of my other tutorials that follow this one will give you examples of this in three dimensions.